What's up, Frozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to episode 538 of Fazgu. That's right, we've got some more Fazgu videos. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> but don't worry, this one is going to be a quick one, as I want to address a theory that I actually got in my comments on yesterday's video. In today's video, I'm going to quickly be touching on the new kid. So if you haven't read that story, you might want to. I'm not going to do a full summary today, but if you do want a full summary, then make sure that you subscribe because I'm currently in the middle of making a video which might help you out with that. It will be out very soon, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'm very, very close to 10,000 now, less than 50 subscribers away. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Some people don't even realize that they're not. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So this entire video is based on a comment on my video written by I'm the Creator 2 who said, actually the new kid mentioned something weird in the walls, like something was moving around. As far as I remember, there is no actual explanation for it, so it could be that whatever was in the walls was somehow related to the Fazgu or Remnant. Maybe it was Fazgu, and the reason the teachers called it Fazgu is because they found it in some abandoned Freddy's. First of all, thank you so much for the comment. Uh, it's great to see people simply putting out ideas for everyone else to think about. Uh, and when I first saw this, it actually kind of broke me. Let me address the last part of the comment first, as I think we have quite a simple answer to it. If you don't know what Fazgu is, it, it first appeared in He Told Me Everything as a pink slime, and I made a video on it yesterday uh, that explains this further. Now to start, the reason it's called Fazgu in that story probably isn't because it's actually called Fazgu, but similarly to what you were saying, I believe it was a name for the contents of the Mad Scientist kit in the story. We see the same goo in the Puppet Carver, but it was never named, so I don't think it's a well-known substance uh, in this universe. The name is just supposed to make it more appealing to kids uh, and, and stuff like that. Now let's turn to the interesting part, the new kid, because this story is a story for th that for the longest time I haven't been able to explain. I figured it may have something to do with Remnant or Agony or something like that, but no explanation really did it for me. Then yesterday I heard this. Basically in the new kid there's this strange fallacy where Kelsey dies in the Golden Freddy suit while dancing in it, blood spills everywhere with Casey screaming at the top of her lungs. Sorry, not Kel not Casey, Kelsey. Casey is from uh, Dance With Me. Devon leaves the pizzeria, then comes back a few days later to find out that Kelsey is actually gone from the suit. His hand gets trapped in the mouth, then as he gets pulled in, he sees that there is a kid inside that isn't Kelsey. This kid has one defining feature, he has curly black hair. Then we find out that Kelsey is actually alive uh, and joining a, a new group of uncool kids at a new school. And that's basically what happened earlier in this story. Does this make any sense? No. Do I have a full explanation for this? No. Does that make me a nerd? No. What happened here is completely crazy. A dead Kelsey gets revived, but also replaced with a completely different kid. Now, of course, this story is the story that began the popular golden duo theory, which I actually believe at the moment. It's the theory that there are two souls inside of Golden Freddy, Cassidy and the Crying Child. And the curly-haired boy in the suit is Andrew, who is a parallel to Cassidy. But it's the fact that he just randomly appeared with no explanation. Remember that Kelsey danced in the suit, so there wasn't a body in there before. I can't really explain that right now, but one thing that I can explain is how Kelsey got revived. Remember in the puppet carver that Jack died in the machine then got revived into a completely different person by Fazgu. I've talked about this so many times on my channel now. I believe that we have something very similar in the new kid. Kelsey could have died, uh, made contact with Fazgu, and ran away as a new person while the remaining parts were left in the suit. Sure, it doesn't explain Andrew, but can't he just appear at random anyway in the man in room 1280? Anyway, I personally really love the idea that Fazgu is the thing that solves this mystery but you're probably looking for the evidence. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I have memories of a lot more unexplained weird stuff in this story, but there is one strange instance which I found in this story. I couldn't really find any others. So tell me guys if you see any more things. 
This is what I found. Uh, it is a strange instance that never gets addressed again. While they were in the bathroom, Devon was pretty sure he heard something slithering through the walls. He didn't say anything. From the way the other boys' fa faces paled, he knew they heard it too. They didn't mention it either, but they all quickly crowded towards the bathroom door and ended up back in a narrow hall. Yes, something slithering in the pizzeria. That never gets mentioned again. Never. There's a few mysterious sounds later, but that's it. Something slithering. Nothing else. Why would this detail be here if it didn't have any connections? Or what if the connection was that it is actually Fazgu? I think slithering is a pretty good word for how it moves around. And I think it is possible that this is intentional, but I also see this as a slight stretch. So to summarize, we have slithering inside the pizzeria like there's another entity in the building. Uh, and when Kelsey gets spring locked, it's possible that Fazgu was able to replace him, hence the ending of the story. At the moment, that's what I believe, uh, as I have no other explanation for this. So if you do have another th theory for this, or you have a belief that might convince me otherwise, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would love to hear what you think. Thank you again to I'm, a, I'm the Creator 2 for writing your comments. Uh, this is the sort of thing I'm looking for in my comment section, just good ideas. <laughs> Remember to subscribe for more theories. So close to 10,000 now. I cannot believe we're almost there. I'm gonna have some really cool videos out in the future, so in the near future. So make sure that you subscribe for that. I will see you in another video. Goodbye.